Coach, thank you. We have playoff football and bone-chilling playoff football at that in the city of brotherly love at Lincoln Financial Field. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. What twists and turns will January have in store for us? The NFL playoffs are officially underway. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And all the way down to the 26. A huge play there right off the bat. 62 yards on the ground. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Right back to Sanders on first down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down and four, Wentz, and he takes it down to the 10 yard line. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. Offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. This one should have gone in favor of the defense, don't you think? They flush the quarterback to the left side. He's a right-handed thrower, so you know how difficult it is to get your body back around and make a good throw, let alone to the middle of the... And he's in! Touchdown, Eagles! Taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Shotgun now for Breeze. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick, make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. 
His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Wentz to throw, and he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Cameron Jordan in there to get him. It's a loss of five. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. And they told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll still have a third and goal now, despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. They come out here in the eye. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Easy, opposite, opposite, opposite. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first is Wentz. It's caught. Lock it. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Open man, Arthega Whiteside. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brings up third down. Hurry 
The offense on third down tonight, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown, New Orleans. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought? That had to be. Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? It sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yo, know, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the eight. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, Oftentimes, interceptions result. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. On second down, Kamara. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. That's trash. You go tight. You go tight. You hate kill. Real kill. He's coming. Double up. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We got double up, double up. Kill, kill. Hey, turn it up, turn it up. Breeze now to throw. Now Breeze wants the football. It is picked up by the Eagles. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice for such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for us.
Coach, thank you. We have playoff football and bone-chilling playoff football at that in the city of brotherly love at Lincoln Financial Field. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. On first down, Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. To try again after the sack. Wentz. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. It's now third down and 16.
do that like that. like that it's a lot of money why are you mad like that like that oh i'm in my new bag my bag you ain't get you ain't get too bad my bad yeah uh, first of the month i'm a running back hey same day why i'm a running back yeah. friday payday running back hey running back running back running back Ooh. 48 yards i run it back hey i got a car i run it back yeah. go your uh, then run it back uh. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Hello? That's the Jag calling. Dunk it. Let me click over real quick to let my Jag talk it. Dunk it, I dunk eat it. it. Ooh, Pac-Man, that's the way my neck talk it. Right? I ain't never coming back the way the stress You don't make no clap back when you back pack my bad, but I'm past that. With an ass back, that's cash. When the money fall, I'ma slap that. Clap when the money go, you don't slap. That's fast. If the money low, I'ma grab from man. When it come back, I'ma give back. The direct hit, I'm glad when I check Mr. the direct hit, I'm sad like who's that knocking at my window? My window. They say that it's the money, I'm like ten four and out. That's gonna th- make you fuck like a limbo. <laughs> she says she not a she and hey. ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, why you do that like that? like that? It's a lot of money, why are you mad like that? Like that? Ooh, ooh, I'm in my new bag, my bag. My you ain't get. Too bad, my bad. Yeah. Uh, first of the month, I'ma run it back. Ay. Same day, why I'ma run it back? Yeah. Friday, payday, run it back. Ay. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Ooh. 48 yards, I run it back. Ay. I cop a car, I run it back. Yeah. Go your then run it back. Uh. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Run it back. From Prada, rolling up. I'm in a brand new model. It'll be here tomorrow. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got. It take a week to count it. Then I'm back up. Name the place and we back up. Running these racks up. Hundred mils a week after. Dying from laughter. When they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one. Made a mill today. It ain't my last one. Oh, I had to get back up. Closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When it throw it blind in my dreadlock. In the end zone with the mad dot. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. Yeah, I can't take no off. You better call back up. I'm running it down to finish. I don't play, get down to get it. Talk about that, come slide on with it. Better see me now.
position looking steep. Yeah, I'm training, I've been focused, I've been bombing from the deep. I'm like, move the chains, I'm about to make a play. Move the chains, tell them get about the way. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains. Move the needle for the city like the championships. All my records go hard, it's a champion hit. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym. Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading the pit. Take them, I can shake them, yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them, I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey, yeah. made to put in work, I don't think they really hurt me like, yeah. move the chains, I'm about to make a play, who the chains, tell them get about the way, who the chains, I'm about to win the game, who the chains, baby, tell them who the chains, yeah. ain't no stopping me, ain't no topping me, I am up, number one seed, ain't nobody popping up, got a squad of gorillas from the jungle suited up, yeah. you kicking off against me, hope you ready, get it up, yeah. I be booted up, popping out a sprinter or a truck, uh. whole team chasing while they chasing us, call an audible. I read the game, I think it's time to switch. You get hit if I miss, then my teammates got the blitz. Yeah, move the chains, I'm about to make a play. Move the chains, tell them get about the way. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains.
Time to bring the bass bird. Swear I'm going big like a lineman. She want to bring the limes in. She want to pull up to the crib. We can't dine in. Up right away. Couldn't even get a vine in. Straight with the money we aligned in. Tell me how they broke trying to chime in. Jesus watching over here in diamonds. He the only reason why do not get violent. Hey, cause he gave me patience. Hey, swear it don't make sense. Hey, when you making bands can make fans. Cause I know they trying to shit like rape. Hands together and I'm saying amen Cause I'm going big, going, going big Everywhere I go, they know the click Way too many wins, they know the shit They was hating, know they sick Acting like they know me Cause I'm going big, going, going big Everywhere I go, they know the click Way too many wins, they know the shit They was hating, know they sick Acting like they know me Cause I'm Going big, going bigger Postmates, how I deliver my game too cold, made a shiver, but I'm still a hot boy, cool it down, let it simmer. Hey, see him mad, got him bitter. Can't stop the shine with a dimmer. Only what I give her, and she let her call me baby, but I do not need a setter. Uh, see me dip, damn, saucin'. People at the bank see me often. Let the money run, it's a faucet. She gave me the that's a faucet. Took over the game, now we all in. I was down in the chips, then went all in. Throwing up the game. Make my mama stop working, that's the promise. Mama. Going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. Way too many wins, they know the shit. They was hating, know they sick. Acting like they know me, cause I'm going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. Way too many wins, they know the shit. They was hating, know they sick. Acting like they know me, cause I'm. Pee 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 low, time to bring the bass bird. Coach, it is something not seen all that often in these parts. Playoff football in North Carolina. We've got it at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Ahead will decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. 
Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Christian McCaffrey. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. You better be afraid of me. You and forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That second down play nets a minus four. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. After the run, Newton going to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. complete a lot of contact no call and it's third down the beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands guess what creates a lot of confusion kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football eluding the pressure right now he'll let it go that's caught inside the 20 and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 a lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Wentz going to throw. It's complete to lock it. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing again on second down. Wentz escaping the pressure right. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness, puts it all together. It makes plays like one we just saw there. He may not be a big-time blitzer, but, boy, he knows how to pursue. And he's going to go down. 
sacked back at the 13-yard line. They can't stop Bruce Irvin there as he slips in for the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Brian Burns providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And a kick by Elliott is good. Not the touchdown they wanted, but hey, you're on the road in the playoffs. They did get three on the board. Yeah, it's a good opening drive, so you feel good about it yourself. You get to the sidelines. The defense feels good about you helping them right out of the gate. The team, yeah, they feel pretty good about coming in in the playoffs and getting points on the board right away. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of the game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. So here's a first. 10 at the 38. On the ground, McCaffrey. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second and 11 now. Newton taking a shot for Samuel. And that's caught inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards, first down Panthers. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Check out. Check out, Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. What any? Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. Check. Ready? Check. Ready? On first and goal, Washington. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. So they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. McCaffrey. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers have taken the lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times that's a passing play. 
And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. Well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. What a spin. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way we think you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Hey, box drop, box drop. Wentz now to throw. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Brian Burns able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Watch the twitch. Watch the twitch. Twitch, twitch, twitch. No, 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 no. Watch it. Great, great, great. On third and long, it's Wentz. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the feet. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Tyler Lockett, 76 yards. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The corner, Ronald Darby, comes up to get him. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Out of the gun, Newton. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. And it's third down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And he's got his target. That's more. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 44-yard line. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. On first down, this is McCaffrey. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. 
The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Second quarter action. Two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Down to about the 22 here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. down it's Newton they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey and they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Gun, gun. Check 50, check 50. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This is an easy one, 23 yard. And the 10 year vet knocks it through the goal post. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it. And that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller is just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. Nope, nope, nope. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's off by the safety, Eric Reed. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, a trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The 
the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they pass. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Brian Burns bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. From the gun on third down, wins. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And he's got some space here. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage. And it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken about seven yards deep. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now Wentz. Flush to his right. And that's complete to Jeffrey. And all the way down to the 37. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. 14, 82, 14, 59, Mike's 59. On first and 10, here's Wentz. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. Wentz throwing complete to Arcega Whiteside. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Wentz to throw again. Got a man. It's Arcega Whiteside. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 20-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Wentz's throw taken in by Sanders, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 11 
more yards that go around. A first down as well. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kicks away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. You, you, you. I get it. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Switch, switch, switch. Slam, slam, slam. What is Throwing on third down, Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Well, this is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. They got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. He lets it. This is caught at the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Tyler Lockett. His second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to regain the lead. Now they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even... He's got a man complete! And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain of 32 that time. First down. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Check three, check three, check three. McCaffrey. 
He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the night as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Gano now to add the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. To throw, it's Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten yards there and an Eagle first down. Hasn't had his best game running the football here tonight, but hey, that's a critical spot right there to convert on third down, and he did it. And the lights are shining just a little bit brighter right now, aren't they? You remember the beginning of the game? If he gets this first down, everybody's happy. That's cool. But here, that was critical, and it really energizes him. Wentz connecting with his tight end, Goddard, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That throw good for four. It's second down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On second down, it's Sanders. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Out, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. This is McCaffrey. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. On third down, Newton. 
And they will find his man. That's Hogan complete. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll run with McCaffrey. Nigel Bradham brings him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Throwing on second and eight. Newton, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, here's Newton. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. And the Panthers, first down. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. Newton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 50, Newton. And get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch. And precious time ticking off the clock. Eighth play of the drive forthcoming. And they need eight yards on third down. Newton to throw. Completes it to Samuel. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's McCaffrey. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. 
The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So out on the field now, Graham Gano in a big spot. This for the lead in the final stages. And Gano's kick is right through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. They go down to a knee, and with that, they're off to the NFC title game. They had the extra week of rest. That was a factor. I think this home crowd was certainly a factor as well. So this is step one done. Now they need to win next week if they want to get to the Super Bowl. I like those two factors that you brought up. The extra week, getting the open week by being the number two seed, a terrific home crowd for them coupled with really good play that allows them now to keep their Super Bowl dream alive one more on their way to the Super Bowl well one side moves on and then of course there's the other side and now they face what they don't want to face and that's the offseason think about the journey just getting to this game preseason right the OTAs and mini camps before that going through the regular season, fighting and scratching and clawing to make it to the playoffs and then to get to this game one game short of a conference So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.